What's good, Josh? Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta talk about how everyone's been reacting to Becky Lynch being the new women's world champion. Um, they had the battle royal last night on Monday Night Raw, and I think a lot of people's favorites were Liv Morgan, um, Nia Jax, and Becky Lynch. I think those were like kind of the uh, the I guess you could say a lot of people's prediction on who could possibly win and it made sense um i've seen a a, a lot of people uh, wanting chelsea green to be like the dark horse in this situation and even she got some of somewhat of a reaction when she ended up getting eliminated for the second time first time the refs didn't see it second time she ended up getting eliminated so she kind of got of a, a nice reaction um i really want to talk about just the amount of hate <laughs> Becky Lynch is getting right now is ridiculous. They actually have a hashtag trending. Becky Hogan, bro. Like, that's ridiculous that that is trending. Becky Hogan. Like, the fact that people are comparing her to Hulk Hogan. Um, the fact that people are bringing up the... the um, the new saying now that we're WWE's in this new era, but then you know you see people posting screenshots and pictures of Becky Lynch winning again or winning in the past, and they're you know feeling some type of way like, are we really in a new era? And I can understand some people's frustration on why they feel like Becky shouldn't have won this time, but at the same time, I can also understand why WWE decided to put the championship on her now me personally i would have preferred and it's crazy for me to say this in 2024 i either would have preferred live or nia Jax. reason why i would have preferred live if she was to win is because for the simple fact of the story that they have there with her being a champion actually taking out rhea ripley and ended up taking her championship that she never lost that the story right there, it writes itself you know the history there and that could have been something interesting they could have did and they could have expounded on potentially turning her heel because she still operates as a face but she could have started really rubbing it in like i took rhea ripley out no one else could do it and i took her championship from her the revenge tour you know it worked out you know they, they could definitely do that with her granted i do think they will and I, I could see maybe a situation her maybe taking a title from Becky. Like maybe she cheats to take the title from Becky. That could be an interesting way to do things too. But I would have been okay if Liv would have won it. And on the other uh, other side of things, Nia Jax winning, I would have been okay with that because she would have been a very dominant heel. Um, it would it it would look even uh, it would look definitely credible for Nia Jax to be the champion. And no one really beat her until maybe Rhea comes back. Um, and it would have worked because you would have had so many of the, the baby faces trying to overthrow uh, Nia Jax. Granted, the top baby face, well, this is all predicated before the draft. So we don't know where people are going to land at. But you can, you can kind of switch it up if it was just, you know, if they're going to, if they were to have Nia only still be on raw and still have becky on raw then it would be a situation where you know they would probably feud again i really don't want to see that again so but they still you know with the draft they could definitely have some fresh matchups and her trying to wreck shop won't depending on what division she's going to be on on monday night raw or smackdown so they really could have you know Freshened it up with her getting the, the the championship opportunity. And it's crazy to say that in 2024, you know, people want Nia Jax to win. That's crazy. You know, <laughs> who would have thought? So those were my obvious two picks. Um, I was very surprised they even gave it to Becky. But then once again, it made sense. WWE played it safe. They did. Granted, I know a lot of people right now on social media. There's some people that, you know, are for Becky winning. And they don't have a problem with it. There's some people that are against Becky winning. They definitely don't like it. And then there's some people who downright hate it. Like legitimately hate it. It's it's chaos on Twitter right now. The live stands 
oh man, they are in a uproar right now. It's ridiculous. So I don't know. Me personally, I wouldn't get too caught up in it. I do think Liv is going to get her moment potentially this year. I think there's there's a reason why she was the last person once again. You know, I think someone made the point that she's always been like the last few individuals in these situations where a uh, multi men or multi women situations. So it could be part of her revenge tour storyline that she always comes this close, but she can never truly succeed. And eventually it could be her spiraling out once again and trying to take out Becky Lynch or, you know, and then eventually get the championship. I can see. Becky Lynch dropping the championship to her. Granted, I don't know if she's going to be a transitional champion. So I, this is very, very peculiar. So me personally, I wouldn't have picked Becky, but I'm not just going insane right now on social media on Becky winning because comparing her to Hulk Hogan is kind of wild behavior. Y'all got to chill. I, I get it. Your favorite didn't win and live or whatever the case may have been. But to really the hate that she's getting right now is... It's weird. It's very weird. You know, I, I'm, it's just, I don't know. I don't think Becky, you know, <laughs> really deserves that type of hate. Uh, and I, once again, I get everyone's frustration or a lot of people's frustration on seeing her with the championship. Once again, I completely get it. But at the same time, I think they, they can still tell some good stories. And I do think maybe Liv Morgan will get that championship opportunity and actually win. You know, I do think it's going to cost. She would have to turn heel for it to really to really make sense. And hopefully they do that. But I do think that may be the, the route. I, I I don't really want to see Becky go against Nia. I'm all for Becky and Liv having their because they have history with each other. So they can still tell some story. They have history with each other from the past. So this could be very interesting if they tell it right. And I, I know it's weird to say I don't see Becky being a transitional champion. But at the same time, I do see somehow, some way before Rhea get back, I I do see, you know, it would make sense if um, Liv was the champ. So I don't know how long Rhea is going to be out. That really depends if we're going to, you know, if Becky will be considered a transitional champion in this sense. But. I don't know. I, I can see Becky maybe holding the title for... It really depends on how long Aria's out. That's it. Because whenever Rhea comes back, she's definitely going to be in title contention. So that's why me personally, I say it probably would have made sense if Liv would have won or not Nia Jax would have won in comparison to Becky. But I don't think she deserves this hate. I think some of y'all are just taking it too far. Comment down below. Let me know. Have y'all been seeing just the utter chaos on Twitter with how people are feeling about Becky Lynch? Do you feel like it's justified for her to be considered uh, the woman version of Hulk Hogan? I think that's fucking absurd, if you want to be honest. Um, do y'all think she deserves that type of criticism, uh, the type of hate that she's been getting? Or do y'all feel like people are just kind of overreacting and their favorite didn't win, a.k.a most likely live or whoever else their favorite is so y'all let me know down below but i appreciate all love support road to 150k and i'm still gonna speed to youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking in with me see y'all next one peace